been really cool having such an intimate set and such amazing actors to work off of. What I really liked for me as an actor, it was combining a lot of things that I like about stage acting and film acting. She wasn't possessed. It was my first time working with all the tech and the equipment, and that was so exciting. You know, wearing the motion capture suit and the camera right in front of your face being able to use my physicality in a way that I haven't had to before. This is a compelling story because it touches on a lot of really trendy topics. I mean, you've got cults, you've got spirituality. I think this is something that people are fascinated by. You know, there's a reason why we are attracted to stories about cults and dark retreats in the woods and the horrors and thrillers. Not only because of its suspense and it being action-packed, but also we're all curious about that deep darkness within each of us. Those things can't hurt me or anybody else. I was so engaged by the story right from the beginning. I really hope that this story finds a lot of people. I think it's incredibly relatable and really speaks to what are your strengths as a person? What are your weaknesses as a person? It's been an awesome experience. I'm Siobhan Williams and I play Jess. Jess is asked to come to this island by her friend Kim. Kim invites her to go on a spiritual retreat and try to better herself and improve her mental health. Jess wants a circuit breaker from her everyday life and she's excited at the prospect of getting away. She'd also like to consider herself someone who's willing to try new things and she also has to deal with the fact that she's going to deal with some closure that she's never gotten from this traumatic event that her and Kim share. Let's talk on the way up. Jess is thrown into this situation with no idea of what's about to befall her. She's forced into a new way of thinking, a new way of interpreting reality, and it's absolutely terrifying for her. I need you to trust me. My name's Adam Millard, and I play Tyler Anton. Tyler came up in this new age community with a mother who was always telling these really wild stories about this island and, you know, an island that was really his birthright. The perfect setting for finally having a chance to be a really powerful spiritual and healing leader and, and to really just get a group of people out to participate in this prismic science. Starting with Hannah, add your voice to the chant as we move around the circle. My name is Emily Tennant and I play the role of Hannah. Hannah sees a very powerful person in Tyler. She sees someone who is at the core of this community. She sees someone who could provide her with that stability and belonging she's always desperately wanted. But as we go through, Hannah starts to question Tyler and some of his methods. Will Tyler agree to all of this? Don't worry about him. He'll listen to me. I'm Nicole Anthony and I play Maya. Maya's on the island because she's been going through a really heavy time in her life. She's idealistic and yet she's experienced this um, magnanimous event. I listen to people who didn't know anything and ignored anyone who did. The retreat sort of finds her, essentially. Um, she meets Tyler and I think that she knows right away right away that this is going to be the answer for her. My name is Pranita Killa and I play Sonny. Sonny is on the island because he is trying to escape from his past behavior of drug abuse and reconnect with his cultural heritage. He comes from a South Asian family. Sonny is an opportunist. Sonny is an entrepreneur at heart. There is power in each of them. And here down this trail is a crystal mine filled with them. You can't possibly think this is a good thing. He, from the outside, is incredibly wealthy, good looking, but on the inside, there's a deep emptiness and a deep loneliness that he suffers from. I deeply identify with Sonny. Unfortunately, I don't have the confidence and the necessary charm that he has. I can't lie to people like he does. 
but I can certainly relate to the pressure that he feels. You know, coming from a South Asian family, there's a pressure to succeed at all costs. I told Tyler you were going to bring bad energy to this place. Kim is one of those people who is always trying to work on bettering herself. You know, I feel good. Kim with Tyler, they had been doing some healing work together and they came up against this one particular incident and they realized that they, they required Jess to be there in order to actually carry out the healing. The one thing that still plagues Kim is this shared trauma with Jess. Jess is very closed off emotionally. She's not willing to deal with her feelings. Honestly, I'm, I'm not a very spiritual person. But she does not anticipate just how insane things get. What have they told you? It's true. I think what's really interesting about the game is that we have all of that wrapped inside of this very supernatural world. Players who maybe initially feel like they have an idea of who Jess is, will really come to know who she truly is at her core by the end of the game. And I think that's what will make them fall in love with her. Not only is the gameplay gonna be incredible, but also uh, you'll be immersed in the story on a multitude of levels. It just takes you on a journey and it's unexpected and fun and exciting and also scary. And I personally can't wait to play.